Hello, hello, hello. This is B Jax with Black Views, and today I am bringing you the Black News. Well, just want to let you know that the two race soldiers were locked up today. Okay? Oh man, this is a heinous crime they have committed. They killed a young black man. His name was Omar Arp. 26 years old from Brunswick, Georgia. Uh, apparently he was going out for a jog and these two race soldiers decided that they were going to cut him off. And um, I mean, their stories are conflicting. They don't even make any motherfucking sense. Um, it's obvious that these stories were created after the fact uh, to protect themselves. But I do have a video here and that video should give you as much information and then after that I'll have a brief commentary to go in a little deeper. I wanted to make this uh, video short and sweet so here's the video. And now we're hearing from one of the law enforcement officials connected to the case. Our Frank Sukowski reports. Ahmad Arbery was shot and killed in the middle of a Brunswick street. No one disputing that, but some people have a lot of questions on what exactly happened there and how the case is being handled. Protesters sprung up after a video of the shooting made it onto social media. Many of them are calling for justice because no one connected to the incident has been arrested as of yet. They also question law enforcement's role in that. Two different district attorneys handling the case have recused themselves. One of those DAs is Waycross Judicial District Attorney George Barnhill. In a letter from Barnhill to Glen County Police obtained by ABC News, we learned more about why Barnhill didn't want to press charges, why he recused himself, and who shot the video. Barnhill writes, It is my professional belief the autopsy confirms what we had already viewed as shown in the videotape with the photographs and from the witness statements taken immediately at the scene. We do not see grounds for any arrest of any of the three parties. Barnhill goes on to explain the video of Arbery shooting was taken by a man named William Bryan. Again, quoting from the letter, Travis McDaniel, Greg McDaniel and William Bryan were following in pursuit of burglary suspect with solid first hand probable cause in their neighborhood and asking, telling him to stop. It appears their intent was to stop and hold this criminal suspect until law enforcement arrived. Under Georgia law, this is perfectly legal. The Barnhill's letter does not elaborate on what he deemed to be first-hand probable cause, he does state that Arbery was shot three times and gives us a general description of the injuries. The shot is through Arbery's right palm, which is consistent with him grabbing and pulling the shotgun at the barrel tip. The second and third wounds are consistent with the struggle for the shotgun as depicted in the video. In the video, Arbery is seen grabbing the shotgun during a confrontation with McMichael and that according to Barnhill is what he bases his findings on. He states, at the point Arbery grabbed the shotgun under Georgia law, McMichael was allowed to use deadly force to protect himself. For the above and foregoing reasons, it is our conclusion there is insufficient probable cause to issue arrest warrants at this time. There have been a lot of claims of bias in the handling of the McMichaels. Greg McMichaels worked for the Glen County Police and the Brunswick DA's office at one time. They recused themselves from the case. Waycross DA Barnhill also recused himself after Arbery's mom accused him of conflict of interest. Barnhill writes, she sees a conflict in that my son works in the Brunswick District Attorney's office where Greg McMichael retired some time ago. She believes there are kinships between the parties, there are not, and has made other unfounded allegations of biases. As such, I believe it is better for my office to step out and I'm going to recuse myself. Okay, okay, Black family. So you heard the video. You heard the information that they put out there in regard to the shooting. What a shame. I mean, this is some straight bullshit. This has got to be corruption at its best from the lowest level to the top. Not to mention Mr. Mr. Barnhart here. Mr. Barnhart, who is the district attorney. Okay, he is the second district attorney to recuse himself. I call it rescue. I call it making excuses not to be a man, to step up and do the job you were asked to do. But he recused himself. And then after recusing himself, he sent a letter. Okay, he sent a letter basically saying what his beliefs were. Uh, without hearing the evidence, without a trial, he believed that no charges should be filed because he saw that those gentlemen were standing their ground and by law uh, that I guess that uh, Mr. Aubrey who were defending himself uh, by him grabbing the weapon that gave these two race animals an opportunity to shoot him 
once again, it's straight bullshit. And I'm just here to tell you, this this is how it operates on the inside. No wonder we have millions, two million brothers that's locked up right now. This is what's called railroading. That's a, sna- a, a small snapshot of railroading. He didn't get any evidence. He didn't listen to any witnesses. He didn't hear shit. This man just went up there and wrote a letter saying that basically what he felt and that he was sending the case on to another jurisdiction. Not only to mention, the person that, that uh, filmed it was actually there. He's also a suspect in this situation. So today we heard that they did get locked up. These two race fucking animal uh, uh, wetbacks were locked up. And you know what? That's exactly what they deserve. And I hope that when they get locked up, they meet some people that's there to greet them properly. But basically what I wanted to say was, okay, so now we're talking about the protesting. Now we're talking about people getting out in the street, mobilizing, carrying the narrative so that is not forgotten. Remember, it's been almost two months since the, since this incident has happened and there has been no arrest until today. Okay, take a good look when you see these these uh, these black men and women marching out here in protest. You don't see any clergy. You don't see any so-called leadership or delegates or or representatives or senators you don't see anybody that's out there to support these people once again uh we have coons and we have layoffs that are out here that no one to keep quiet no one to keep their mouth shut and they only talk when it's time for them to get a butter biscuit so i wanted to make this uh video short and sweet um, got a little bit of information in here to get you up to par with what's going on with this situation. And the black media is going to continue to beat the drum and stay on narrative. And we're going to see this all the way through. Wake up, black people, and see that we are getting challenged every day. We are getting hunted every day by these animals, these devils, these so-called people with degrees that's supposed to be so smart, but they can't see the truth. Have a good day.